a number of full Wednesday kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Julie, and welcome to our class. Three pupils are solving for the expression 4 plus 7 times 6 divided by 3 minus 3. However, each of them presented different solution. Whose solution is the correct one? Let's take a look at their solution. First, let's see Darby's solution. He started working from left to right. He solved 4 plus 7 first. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. Then he brought down the rest of the expression. 11 times 6 is equal to 66. 66 divided by 3 is equal to 24. 22 minus 3 is equal to 19. Darwin's answer is 19. Now, let's take a look at Daniel's solution. Unlike Darwin, Daniel started first with multiplication then division. He brought down 4 and multiplied 7 by 6. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. Then, he brought down the rest of the expression. Next, he divided 42 by 3. 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14. Then, he added 4 and 14. 4 plus 14 is equal to 18. Lastly, he subtracted 3 from 18. 18 minus 3 is equal to 15. Daniel's answer is 15. Lastly, let's see Dina's solution. Dina started with division 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then, she proceeded with addition 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. Next, she multiplied 11 by 2. 11 times 2 is equal to 22. Lastly, she subtracted 3 from 22. 22 minus 3 is equal to 19. Dina's answer is 19. Darwin, Daniel, and Dina are solving an expression that contains more than one operation. Can you spot the operations in the expression? That was great, kids. This expression involves addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. But how do we solve expressions with different operations? Who got the correct answer? That's what we are going to learn for today. So come on! And let us begin our number full journey. Today, we are going to learn how to solve expressions that contain more than one operation. As we perform these operations, we will answer these two questions. First, what is the order of operations? Second, what should we remember in solving expressions that contain more than one operation? Knowing how to properly perform operations and whole numbers is important because it can be used to represent and solve everyday life problems. Are you ready? Let's start! Take a look at this. What are the operations you can spot in this expression? Very good! We have subtraction and addition here. For expressions with addition and subtraction only, we perform the operations from left to right. To solve the problem, we first subtract 173 from 200. The difference will be 27. Then add 48 and 27. So the final answer is 75. Fantastic kids! How about this? What are the operations you can spot in the expression this time? Yes, you're right. We see division and multiplication here. When we solve number sentences and equation with multiplication and division only, we also solve from left to right. Can you try by solving this equation? To solve the problem, we first divide 450 by 6. The quotient will be 75. Then multiply 75 by 40. So the final answer is 3,000. 
In solving an expression that contains more than one operation, we follow the order of operations. The order of operations is the order in which we add, subtract, multiply, or divide to solve a problem. Now, what if the expression contains the four operations? How should we solve it? To find the value of an expression that contains more than one operation, we follow the MDAS rule, which stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Number one, perform multiplication and division first in order from left to right. Number two, perform addition and subtraction next in order from left to right. Now, let's try more examples using the MDAS rule. What are the operations you can spot on this expression? Awesome! We see addition and multiplication here. Which operation will we perform first? Good job! We will start with multiplication followed by addition. Let's multiply 7 and 2 first. The product will be 14. Then add 15 and 14. So the final answer will be 29. How about this? What are the operations you can spot on this expression? Splendid! We see division and subtraction. Now, let's try to answer this. Which operation will we perform first? Very good! We will start with division followed by subtraction. Let's divide 100 by 4 first. The quotient will be 25. Then subtract 8 from 25, so the final answer will be 17. That was great, kids. Now that you know your endless rule, let's go back to the solutions of the three pupils earlier. Whose solution do you think is the correct one? Amazing! We can see that Daniel's solution is the correct one because he followed the MDAS rule. He multiplied 7 and 6 first where he got 42 as the product. Then, he divided 42 by 3 and got 14 as the quotient. Next, he added 4 to 14 where he got 18 as the sum. Lastly, he subtracted 3 from 18 and got the final answer which is 15. Let's practice some more. Use the endless rule to solve this expression. What are the operations can you spot in this one? Very good! We can see the four operations namely multiplication, subtraction, division, and addition. Which operation should we perform first? Awesome! We will start with multiplication and division followed by subtraction and addition. Since we have both multiplication and division in this expression, we start from left to right. Since multiplication comes first, we perform it first. Let's multiply 10 and 12. The product will be 120. Then, Divide 14 by 2, so the quotient will be 7. Now that we're done with multiplication and division, it's time to add and subtract. Again, we work from left to right. Since subtraction comes first, we subtract 7 from 120. So the difference will be 113. Lastly, add 113 and 15. So the final answer is 128. You did great kids, but wait, there's more. Let's try solving this one. Can you see the difference in this expression and the previous ones we answered? That's right. This expression involves grouping symbols. To find the value of an expression that involves grouping symbols, we follow another rule called GMDAS, which stands for grouping symbols, 
Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Number one, perform all operations within the grouping symbols first. Start with the innermost symbols. Grouping symbols include parentheses and brackets. Number two, perform all multiplications and divisions from left to right. Number three, perform all additions and subtractions from left to right. It is similar to the endless rule, but this time we add G in front to solve for the grouping symbols. Let's try solving the expression earlier using the G endless rule. What are the operations can you spot in this one? Fantastic! We see the four operations, namely division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Which operation will we perform first? Awesome! We will perform the operations in the grouping symbol first, which are division and multiplication, followed by addition and subtraction. Let's divide 180 by 3. The quotient will be 60. Then, multiply 60 by 5, so the product will be 300. Next, add 315, so the sum will be 315. Lastly, subtract 15 from 315, so the final answer will be 300. Good job, kids! How about this? Let's use the GMDAS rule to solve this expression. What are the operations can you spot on this expression? Splendid! We see multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition here. Which operation will we perform first? Splendid! We will perform the operation in the grouping symbol first, which is subtraction followed by multiplication, division, and addition. Let's subtract 6 from 24. The difference will be 18. Then, multiply 12 by 3, so the product will be 36. Next, divide 36 by 18, so the quotient will be 2. Lastly, Add 2 and 7, so the final answer will be 9. You did great, kids. Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. In solving an expression that contains more than one operation, we follow the order of operations. The order of operations is the order in which we add, subtract, multiply, or divide to solve a problem. In solving expressions that contain more than one operation, we follow the MDAS and GMDAS rules. The MDAS, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction rule is applied when the expression contains more than one operation. The GMDAS, grouping symbols, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction is applied when the expression contains grouping symbols such as parentheses and brackets. You're fantastic! I hope you have learned a lot about the order of operations today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Julie and see you on our next Number Full Wednesday. Bye!